I feel bad for developers of side-scrolling shoot-'em-ups. Over the last four decades, we've seen just about every incarnation of the genre that you could possibly imagine, yet fans continue to want new and fresh ideas. Sometimes you get them, such as when Newt Industries shook things up with their inventive risk system. But more times than not, we get something like Rigid Force Redux, a paint-by-number shooter that wears its inspiration on its sleeve like a badge of honor. It's comfort food for anybody who wishes that there were more games like R-Type in the world. And as somebody who is well acquainted with piloting an R9A Arrowhead, I'm here to gobble it up. Rigid Force Redux is a brand new port of Comate Com1's 2018 debut title, Rigid Force Alpha. It tells the typical story of aliens invading a science facility that is working on the core program, which just so happens to be the same technology that powers the Alpha's system. We quickly discover that this was no accident, which means that we either fight this unknown aggressor or let them threaten all of humanity. And as the captain of Rigid Force Alpha, you're definitely not going to let that happen. Now, it wasn't an accident when I compared the game to R-Type, because it has all the hallmarks of being a clone. It goes beyond the fact that the Rigid Force Alpha looks almost exactly like the R9A Arrowhead, because a lot of the gameplay revolves around a helpful little orb that floats in front of your ship and absorbs a lot of the stray bullets. You can also reposition it to give your ship more coverage, including shooting enemies that sneak up behind and even above you. This is, of course, not unlike what we saw in R-Type, though I, I like that you can move everything around with nothing more than a quick push of a button. On top of absorbing a lot of the enemy fire, the orb can also be powered up by picking up items along the way. We get a lot of the usual attacks, such as a spread shot, ricochet shot, and the rapid fire shot that quickly kills everything in its path. We're also able to pick up a number of different types of bombs to drop, all of which can be upgraded for maximum damage. Best of all, you won't lose all of the upgrades if you get hit three times and die, because you can easily scoop all the items back up and go right back to kicking alien ass. And that's really what you do through a half dozen straightforward stages, each with a large boss to fight at the end. The good news is that the polygonal levels look sharp and offer a number of different obstacles. Though there isn't anything here that you haven't seen hundreds of times before. Even those bosses I just mentioned will remind you of so many R-Type, Thunder Force, and Gradius villains. There's just nothing here that felt wholly new or original, and that's a problem. In the future, when I reminisce about my time playing Rigid Force Redux, I have a hunch that it won't be the exciting levels or explosive action that I remember, but rather the lame cinemas. For a game with such a bland and generic story, a lot of time is spent telling it. For as much effort and voice acting that has gone into this, I'm honestly surprised the game's premise isn't more compelling. They drag out every single story beat, even when it doesn't really matter. Look, I'm all for lengthy cinemas in my shoot em ups, but you have to bring a more compelling story than this. And that's true for the rest of the game, too. Rigid Force Redux brings the firepower and explosions, but doesn't do anything to stand out. The game is fun because the formula is still fun, not because it's bringing anything new to the table. Despite some good-looking backgrounds, I found the ride to be too easy and too predictable. It's the kind of shooter I'm gonna forget quickly. Rigid Force Redux gets the basics right, but you're better off playing through those old R-Type games. They're classics for a reason, you know. If you're new to shoot 'em ups and haven't played through the classics that made the genre what it is today, then I can see you having a good time with Rigid Force Redux. It's fast paced, not too difficult, and easy to get into, no matter what your expertise is. However, if you've been playing shooters for most of your life, then there really isn't much here you haven't seen dozens of times before. 
That doesn't make this console debut from COM8, COM1 bad, but when your website boasts that Rigid Force Redux breathes new life into the classic side-scrolling shooter genre, one expects a lot more than just another R-Type rehash. At least make the ships look different. Guys, it's the least you can do. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. And here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite side-scrolling shoot-em-up? Oh man, between all of those old school gems and some recent hits, you got a whole bunch to choose from. I can't wait to see what you come up with in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back tomorrow with a lengthy conversation about the state of defunct games. Specifically, how things have been going over the last few months. It's gonna be a roller coaster of a listen, trust me, but definitely worth tuning in for. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.